What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we are talking about Dream Realm once again, mainly Snow Stomper, because this is a very interesting battle, however, you can use most of your normal heroes that you would normally use in, you know, story mode, things like that, however, he does have a really, really annoying function where he's going to basically silence your entire team from using most of their abilities, so you're going to want damage dealers that do normal attacks a ton, and we're going to go over what is best in slot for each and at the end we're going to show you guys kind of an optimized team here so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into it So first, let's go over his skills to understand what is so annoying about this hero slash boss. We are on endless mode, so it's going to be very difficult to show you some of these in combat compositions. However, his ultimate skill freezes an enemy in a Yeti cell, making them not able to move or act. So all your other heroes are immediately going to run to break that hero out, which is very, very important. This is the big one. Periodically silences all enemies for the extended duration. This turns off Smokey and Mirky's aura, all those fun things which is really annoying he's going to deal true damage he's also going to attack and knock down one enemy which is kind of annoying because it stops them from attacking for a little bit and then he deals multiple damage to enemies within the radius of an arc in front of him so melee heroes are going to get hit a little bit those are why we need to pick a very important team and this is why they always say self-healing is a good thing to have and normal attacks are going to be best so let's talk about who are the best for each one in this one there is going to be a lot of different attacks you want a dps carry at least one of them potentially two you're going to need one buffer or two debuffers as well uh and you're just going to need someone to tank however there are a good amount of options now number one once again we're going to be talking about mythic plus reinier and again this only applies if you have him at mythic plus up here mainly because of his ability his uh exclusive makes you do 25 percent more damage it also adds crazy good survivability to the damage dealer you are swapping if you do not have reinier the main debuffer you are going to want to use is kruger kruger is going to have the shatter armor effect he's going to lower the enemy's physical defense that's what we want because our physical damage dealers are the best for this fight so kruger is at a very least uh number one to put in here typically kruger's not gonna be able to tank for you so someone like thorin will still be used in this situation uh he does increase damage taken i think by what 17 percent or whatever uh so that is something to have in mind here just keep that in mind he can do decently he will be a very good tank for you his ultimate doesn't ever go off but at least you can link him to an ally if you do have him at mythic plus which a lot of people even free to play are which is good uh, another debuffer you can run on this team is our favorite here coco yeah she debuffs she also buffs attack for your team those things are really really good the only other one i would consider talking about is Leica, but Leica once again i feel like you need to get her to like supreme plus to really get a benefit reducing the target's physical defense like it's probably not one you're gonna be able to afford to do but those are all the debuffers you want on your team to maximize your damage now besides debuffers we also want buffers so coco also fits that role she does both debuffing and buffing while also giving damage reduction to your team so she's a very very good option uh if we have to talk about the best of the best here it is most likely going to be shakir but once again, you really need the Mythic Plus of Shakir to make him worthwhile. And beyond that, you really need to have his exclusive up to level 10. Because level 10 is going to give allies within the Lupine Aura can share the same attack bonus as him. So if you don't have him Mythic Plus and you don't have exclusive to 10, I would probably not consider using him here. I would use heroes to buff more like uh smoky and mirky so even though his aura is not going to be active at all times it still will be decent so keep that in mind besides those two the other one that can kind of double as a healer as well is damien and that should still work pretty good on the same note of buffers uh i mean again the healers they kind of fall in the same thing so you got smoky and mirky you got coco uh and you got damien you can use haywin however a lot of her healing comes from her ultimate so it's not going to be as reliable but as far as 
buffers go they're almost the same as the healers which is why i put the buffers and the healers in kind of the same category you're going to be picking from the same pool of heroes uh because that's going to be the most important part and know what else is important your damage carry heroes so this one is important this is going to be pretty much od in almost every situation you're going to want to throw him in od is just the best of the best if you get him up to supreme supreme plus you get his exclusive unlock he's just even better most of the time od is actually the one that gets targeted by that like snow stun ability uh so keep that in mind he's going to get hit hard but you can kind of use Odie at any power level. Just like if you have your Cessia, you can use her at any power level. Just know that uh, Mr. Carlisle is probably going to be dead a lot of the fight. And she's not going to be able to summon him a ton. So that's why she's not like at the top of the list. But still good. The next two, you again, once again, really need them at Mythic Plus. You got Merrily and you have Corn. Pretty much the same reason as yesterday. Uh, they just have some of the best single target damage out there. So those are options. If you are br building a pretty strong uh, uh, Necro Draken team as well, Tamisha is actually pretty solid in this game mode as well. And one hero we haven't really talked about much, but is a lot like Tamisha actually do we have reese yes we do reese is another one that's going to kind of run all over the battlefield and do tons of damage uh another good option if you have this per i think him yeah him uh, <laughs> look at the chest <laughs> if he is a part of your team if you bu built a lot of copies or got a lot of copies and he can be good uh beyond that you know shakir fits the role as a damage dealer not just the buffer and tank uh seth can be good cassidy can be good byron walker dnl vala a lot of you guys might have a very high power vala right now so those are all vile op viable options for damage dealers and of course the last thing we need to talk about is the artifact uh just about everybody is going to be running the blazing spell on this one uh it's just one of the best ones because it continuously shoots fireballs uh the damage is dealt uh, is increased by 30% of the overall team attack and we're building and using a lot of damage dealers in this setup so it's going to hit a lot harder than in most situations where you're running tank and healers all over the place so now that we are in the endless mode we've gone through most of the difficulties here we are in endless this is going to be very difficult but I'm going to show you guys what the optimal team will be down the road for most players I don't even know if my team's going to be strong enough right now to survive through this but essentially we are going to be wanting to run this we of course need blazing spell uh, we're going to drop thorn off and we're going to be putting shakir in mainly as the damage dealer we're going to make sure that our uh our main man kruger is by himself because we do have his exclusive which does give him a shield and this right here in my opinion is going to be the best like double debuffer double damage dealer no no real tank setup is probably not gonna work well right here because the difficulty of endless is like more geared toward level one like 240 teams and we're like what 150 160 something like that so this is probably not going to go well but you can see Odie gets swapped up to the front uh he gets taken out pretty much immediately so this is where uh we are not gonna be able to run the quote-unquote optimal team right now because the survivability does become an issue however we could probably run a little bit more of a tanky team setup you can see a lot of the heroes do survive decently so one change could be pretty good and for this i'm gonna go to like a single uh target or it's just one damage dealer with a couple buffers and things like that uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to substitute out i think my kruger and do this that or the other option is dropping like merrily and keeping kruger in and having him also a debuffer something like this could work as well but again it really just comes down to what the power of your team is we're literally getting the healing from ryanir we're getting the damage reduction from the thorin to hopefully keep this od alive for as long as possible and you can see there there is that freeze and you need to basically out damage your hero's health bar you need to kill this before the health gets to zero otherwise just like that you lose the hero and losing someone like our uh our kruger very early on that is a big negative you can see how strong shakir is in this game mode same with Rhineer. they are extremely strong but of course they should be considering they're at mythic plus let's go in one more attempt i'm gonna try to do one other little tweak to see if we can get just a little bit better of a score uh but again like i said endless is very difficult at this point so keep that in mind let's try running merrily as well 
and we'll try doing this because it's really hard to keep melee heroes alive against him right now because of that big cone right there so if you don't have a lot of healing for them it can be an issue uh running like uh smoky and mirky can help right there too uh yeah our od just got melted immediately which is not great so you can see endless version is extremely difficult uh but i'm just happy we got here at this point to show off the endless one this isn't going to be something you have to worry about for a very long time but that is pretty much the team compositions the team setups and kind of how you can be flexible with your heroes as well hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below if this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time.